James was enjoying his life on the island of Sodor, but he still had a lot to learn, said Sir Topham Hatt. James knew what Sir Topham Hatt meant. He could well remember that dreadful accident on his first day, said kind little Edward. Everyone came to admire James, he thought, and suddenly let off steam. A shower of water fell on Sir Topham's nice new top hat. Just then, the conductor blew his whistle and James thought they'd better go. He puffed to Edward, replied Edward. The coaches were grumbling too. But James didn't listen. When at last they stopped at the next station, two coaches were beyond the platform. They had to go back to let the passengers out. But no one seemed to know about Sir Topham's new hat. So James felt happier. Presently, they came to the station where Thomas was waiting with his two coaches. Puff Thomas. And he puffed off importantly. Edward and James passed the field where James had had his accident. The fence was mended and the cows were back again. They ended their journey and rested before setting off for home. James was still wondering what Sir Topham would have to say about his new hat. Next morning, he spoke severely to James. James didn't like that at all. He was very rough with the grumbling coaches as he brought them to the platform. To make James even more cross, this time no one came near him. He thought. Puff James, replied the coaches. James laughed and tried to go faster, but the coaches wouldn't let him. James asked his driver, said the conductor, replied the driver, asked the conductor, said the driver, said the conductor to a smartly dressed man. The passengers all said what a bad railway it was. Then they told the man how bad he was instead. Everyone was very cross. At last, he handed his laces over. The driver tied a pad of newspaper tightly around the hole in the brake pipe, and James was able to pull the train. But he was a sadder and wiser James and took care never to bump coaches again.